Hi guys, Coach speaking, the author of Forex Broker Killer. Uh, this is a mentoring session for the sixth wave Nasdaq group. So apologies that this is not a live mentoring session. So I had to pre-record because of personal commitment. So we have a family uh, commitment that we we had to quickly attend. So therefore, I couldn't have enough time to do an actual live mentoring with you guys, whereby you can share your testimonies as well as Q and A's. Uh, but yeah, so today's session will be about what happened on the sixth wave Nasdaq signals, and ideally, what we what I'm going to share will also apply to the one minute strategy or your trading journey in general. Uh, so in the future, this should actually assist you uh, furthermore. Now, I'm going to start with my disclaimer. Please note that I am not a financial advisor. I am not a qualified financial advisor. Therefore, whatever that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is nothing but personal experience. Uh, the training plan and everything that I'll be sharing with you uh, is something that I've experienced personally and what might happen to you might slightly be different from what I'm going to be sharing with you. Therefore, if you decide to copy what I do or what I say, copy with understanding that you are copying my personal uh, experience, uh, therefore, meaning that you and I are not necessarily on the same level. So the outcome that you might come across might slightly be different. Please note that trading involves high significant risk, and this is definitely not suitable um, for all investors. Therefore, if you seek financial advice, please provide, I mean, uh, look for a professional uh, financial advisor. Uh, without wasting time, I'm just going to begin shortly with my session. So now, sixth wave has been the most interesting one when it comes to NASDAQ. And also even the one-minute strategy, there were a couple of interesting events that I'll also try to brief you guys about as well. But now, the question or the motive of the day is what happened on the sixth wave. So now everything that I will be speaking about in terms of the videos, I'm referring to the videos from the Reels under uh, our Instagram account. Uh, you can check it out. So if maybe you haven't seen the videos, because everything that I'll be discussing will be based on the videos. So the first one is this one. Uh, that is the first part, second part, third part, fourth part, fifth part, and and so on. Actually, no, the first part should be this one. Yes. No, actually, the third part, the first part is this one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and 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 so on, because this is a another version of um the results. So I am going to be focusing more on micro account in this case, reason being that um, most of you guys are beginners and your funding capacity is always limited. So I will be speaking about something that you guys can easily relate to, and that is what's happening uh, or what we are doing uh, on the micro account. Please note and understand that uh, these are not directly my trades, but the trades of admin uh, under my supervision, obviously, because we are one family, right? So I will be speaking about the micro account as I've stated. So now, without wasting time, uh, I'll be giving you guys information in terms of what actually went down so remember the mentoring session the main topic is trading plan why and what is the importance of a trading plan let us begin there before i actually share the trading plan now it is very important for you to have a trading plan before you even start trading reason being that uh, it helps you be disciplined 
it's all about discipline at the end of the day when it comes to uh, trading the market. You must know when to enter. You must know when to exit. As they usually say in gambling, winners know when to stop. However, this is not gambling. Keep in mind. So it's, I will be sharing the admin's trading plan which he copied from me of which is it's basically what i do right uh so now i'm just going to type everything down on the blank uh whiteboard i'm just going to type everything down uh so let me just start by doing this I'm just going to try tap everything down. So this is what actually went down in the sixth wave Nasdaq uh, signal. Uh, so this was a micro 200 bonus account. So what this means is if you deposit 20 rents, you are going to get 40 rents credit. Therefore, your account equity is on 60 rents, right? So this was the account type in question, right? So I'm just giving you guys the, the build up so that when we get to the results, you guys are not are not lost and we are on the same play, uh, same, uh, we're on the same path, basically. And then the leverage is one is two, 1,000. That is the leverage on the account in question. And from there, the balance. Now, it's very important to understand the, how the balance works on the micro account, right? So the balance or the deposit. Balance slash deposit. Original deposit uh, was or is 70 rent, right? And then credit. Now, this is where you get to see uh, the account type in question. So credit was 140. Therefore, the total equity on this account is 210. So now, as a beginner, you must know one thing. All trades are opened based on 210. So meaning that if your account is on 70 rent, like the actual deposit on this particular example, uh, it means that it will not allow you uh, as much trade as this account would. Because initially, in reality, withdrawable money is 70 rent, but the account can trade as if it has 210. That is the whole point of, um, of a credit, right? So uh, trade one, trade one, uh, trade two, I'm just going to write all the trades up till eight. Trade three, keep in mind that the plan that I'm sharing also applies to the one minute strategy. So that is why I will be sharing, uh, this mentoring session is actually important for both uh, the NASDAQ students as well as the one minute strategy students, uh, because the plan is the same. Literally the plan is the same. The plan, it's what we are using on both ends and it's, it's what works for us uh, in FPK. Uh, so just maybe if you can get inspired and then try something that could work for you, right? So here's what went down, right? On the micro account. So uh, the first trade, the first signal was 70 rand deposit, right? And it was blown, meaning that it's a loss, right? Already what happens when the first signal, when you blow on the first signal, it's very demotivating. 
you end up asking yourself if this is for you, if this is going to work and blah, blah, blah. You know, all those uh, drama that you guys go through, the emotions and whatnot. That is the first signal. But you tell yourself that, you know what, let me try again tomorrow. And then tomorrow you have that mentality that, you know what, I am going to try again, right? Now, 70 rents on the second trade was deposited and it was a loss as well. So now it's two trades in a row, both losses. What comes to your mind? What comes to your mind is, ah, the signals are not working. This The signals are not working. They are definitely not accurate and whatnot. That's what a normal human being would think, right? But now the difference between us and you is we are not normal. We have seen so much success in the market to an extent that we can even smile when we lose because we are proud of our losses, right? So the first two signals demotivated most traders. And when the third one comes, it's more like, you know what? Ah, it's the same. Uh, it's, it's These things are not accurate. But now here's the interesting journey, right? I want you to now pay attention. Third trade another deposit the third deposit now all the 70 rents are deposits uh first two were lost now third trade 70 rents has been deposited what comes to your mind you'll be like you know what if i blow this one it means these things of fbk don't work i'm sure that's literally what would run through your mind during that stage but with us we are very much confident with what we do to an extent that we we are we are actually proud literally we are actually proud of um our losses we are proud of our disappointments right now third trade uh we know one thing the third trade after losses, it's not just about winning, but it's about recovery. What are you recovering? First things first, you are recovering the losses. So meaning that now your goal is just to recover the losses that you've went through on the first trade, right? Therefore, 70 rents on the third trade, that's when the winning started. It was taken to 206, right? So meaning that uh, more or less, uh, most of the amount, amounts that were lost were actually recovered on the third trade. So meaning that on the third trade, the risk was quite less. You, we, we were risking less because we knew that we just want to recover. So that is why those who, are in the, those who are in the sixth wave or those who have seen the videos, keep in mind that you can find the videos that I'm, 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 I'm referring to here on our Instagram page, uh, Forex Broker Killer, 286,000 followers as it stands on the 29th of June, uh, 2023. Keep in mind, guys, I do not have Telegram. I do not have Telegram. I've never had Telegram, right? I don't do investments. I don't do account management. I will never DM you asking you to join anything. If you want to join FBK, you're going to run after me, not the other way. Please be aware of fake accounts and, and one dot and whatnot. So also note that those who are new in FBK, they are vultures who join FBK to prey on beginners who don't know anything. So if you get a message, from a number that you don't know, they stole your number from the group because they didn't join FBK to learn, but they joined FBK to recruit for whatever reason. I don't know why they're doing that. So be careful, new ones. So all these videos, uh, basically everything that I'm discussing uh, refers to the videos that are under our reels on our Instagram account, right? So this is the first trade, which is the third one that we actually one at so i'm just going to play the trade uh as i'm speaking so you can see what's happening um executing so i'm just referring to i i i i because i can't be referring to my to the admin all the time 
executing, 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 executing. This was the third trade uh, of recovery. So watch from 70 rents deposit. Um, so I wanna see if I'm allowed to pause. Now I've just paused the video. If you check very closely, I've only opened more trades as soon as the first batch was on profit, meaning that I calculated my risk in terms of how often do I add more trades. So you don't just add more trades from onset because this signals always have more, uh, more or less 30 or 20 point rejection. It's possible it's normal right so when it officially goes in our favor you'd still want to be in that trade because you didn't want the market to go against you 15 points just a small rejection nothing hectic all of a sudden your account is blown because you didn't apply risk management so on this uh note the goal is just to get to uh, double uh, the account, meaning that anything from 140 is regarded as nothing but profit, right? So now uh, the trades are running. I'm opening more. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm opening more trades while I'm already on a profit of 100 and something, meaning that now I'm sure that now it's going to move in my favor, right? No enough money simply means that the lot size that I'm trying to open, the margin that I have, the free margin that I have is not enough. Therefore, I need to either reduce lot, the lot size or deposit more money. That's what it means. So now, uh, here are the trades, here are the trades, here are the trades. So I will be closing uh, the trades at about 200 and something rents because the goal was what? The goal was just uh, to uh, recover the, the loss of the previous trade. So now the trade has ended on 206 rent, right? Of which it's um basically what um I'm 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 telling you guys about right here on our whiteboard. Uh where is the whiteboard? Yes, correct. This is actually what 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 I've shown you guys. This is what we 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 were referring to, or what we are referring to, right? Uh, I want to. Okay. Uh, what did I do? What did I do, guys? Undo, 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 undo. Uh, I think I've. The box has disappeared. The box has disappeared, guys. Uh, I've canceled the box by mistake, but it's fine. Um, the information that was written, uh, you guys have seen it already. So let me just uh, do this as quick as possible. So let because now I don't know why or what was the reason for the box to cancel. I'll just uh, speak about all the trades. And then after, we'll do everything after, just in case the box disappears again, then I don't need, I don't need to type all over. And then trade eight. Remember, the first uh, trade was, was a loss. The second trade was a loss. The third trade, win. So basically, it was 70 rent to 206. Then fourth trade, 206. To one thousand five hundred. The the proof video is is there on on the Instagram account. One thousand five hundred to five thousand four hundred, and then trade number six, five thousand four hundred to thirty four thousand. Trade number seven, uh, 
34,000. So I will be, I'll be, I'll be sharing with you guys the exact plan that admin used on this particular session so that you can understand the difference. Uh, and then the plan is actually based on a standard account because the money there is quite reasonable. So it's not based on 70 rands because admin has no limits in terms of how many 70 rands he can be able to fund with. So signal number 734,224 and then signal number eight, 127 to 606,000. Now, trading only, how many times? Six times winning from trade number three. Now, what do you think happened to those who gave up on the third trade? You see that uh, they, they lost out on big time. So that's how that's how quick this thing is and how that's how risky this thing is, right? So all the proof videos are there on our Instagram account. I just don't want to switch screens because it might cancel the box before we are done. So that's what happened. That's what went down on the micro account from 70 rent to 606,000. So if you can check the storyline, 70 to 200, it's realistic. 200, uh, I forgot the R here. 200 to 1.5, it's realistic. 1.5 to 5.4, it's realistic. 5.4 to 34,000, it's realistic. 34,000 to 127, it's realistic. 127 to 606,000, it's realistic. The only thing that sounds unrealistic is when you say 70 rent to 606,000. You'd be like, how? But I've broken down the storyline, the concept, right? But now the trading plan that admin used was not really based on a micro account. It was based on a standard account, right? So allow me to just wipe everything and then now write the actual trading plan, right? The topic, the main topic of the mentoring session, the actual trading plan that admin used. Number one, budget. You know, what beats most of you guys is you are trading with no purpose. The moment you are trading to make more money, that's when you don't know when to stop. That's when you don't know how to control how much you're risking. That's when you don't know how much uh, you are capable of losing. Right, so it's very important to have a budget. So admin had a budget of thirty thousand. This is a real story that actually happened uh, on 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 the next text sixth wave. And if you apply the same trading plan, even on one minute strategy or any other trading method that you are comfortable with, you are definitely going to see changes. Right. 30,000 was the budget, right? Now, if 30,000 is the budget, what does it mean? Now, you first need to determine how many trades are you going to take? How many signals are you going to take? Everything is monthly related. So, this plan is for a month. So, you are going to be uh, basically admin is, 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 has set out a budget that the, my budget for, for trading this month is nothing but 30,000 rent, number one. I'm also going to give a realistic example based on what you guys can afford. Keep in mind that my example would be nothing but general knowledge and do not, I repeat, do not regard this as financial advice as it's just an example, just to make sure that you guys understand uh, realistically so, right? Because sometimes 30,000 is, is a lot of money for a budget for, for trading for some people. So I'll also use a lower example and so that you can relate to exactly what I'm trying to say. Right. So second step is to determine how many trades, how many events, how many signals. Right. And then that has been determined. Uh, we have eight trades, meaning that we have eight signals. Right. So now. Number three, 
you need to make decision. Decision based on what? Your risk appetite. Your risk appetite, basically, it's you saying, I have 30,000, I have 30 trades. So now, if you are going to be, say, opening a calculator, and you say, let's say, for instance, 30,000 divided by a trade. Therefore, it means that you are going to be using about 3,750 per trade, right? Per trade, it means that you are going to deposit this amount of money per trade, right? So that is you making a decision and determining your risk. But admin said, I am going to risk 5,070 rent per trade. Now, 5,000 being uh, the main account, right? And then 70 rent being the micro account. Remember now, admin has two types of trades. Uh, I don't want to refer, I don't want to go back to that screen again. So he has two types of trade. He has a standard account or slash bonus account and then micro account as well, right? So uh, this budget is based entirely on both but the focus is not micro because 70 rent is not a lot of money so the uh, admin decided that you know what i'm going to risk that amount of money per trade so here's what went down right um i'm just trying to meet, move it on the side so that i can have space so now signal one a total of uh, 5,070 rent was lost, right? Signal two, a total of 5,000. I want, I want, um, um, I, I love, one thing I love about this wave is it started with losses and ended well, unlike starting well and then ending with losses. Reason being that it's an educational movement to say, hey, it doesn't matter how you start. It all matters about how you finish. How you start doesn't matter. It's all about how do you finish. Do you finish as a loser or as a winner, right? So signal number three, 5,070 rent was deposited and it resulted in how much? In about 11,000 profit. That was the first uh, uh, trade that 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 was uh, taken so allow me to quickly refer back to the videos so that i can give you guys um accurate figures in terms of um the the the, the standard account so signal number four uh on the big account was uh just hold on for me Actually, no, it's not signal number four. It's, yeah, yes, it's signal number four. Yeah, correct. I'm correct. It's signal number four, but it's actually the second trade of winning. So signal number four, it started from 11,000. Uh, I'm just trying to find the actual video on my chat history, yes, from 11,000 uh, to 75,000. Sounds unrealistic, right? But now if you revert, you revert back to the micro count, it's exactly what happened. Signal number four, uh, about uh, 200 rents was taken to 1.5. So that was a micro account. On a standard, it's 11,000 to 75,000, you see? So that's that's the difference. So allow me to just write all the, the figures so that I don't, I don't go back and forth. Number six. Uh, I will, I will share with you guys the trick with a trading plan, the importance and the trick with trading plan. 
Uh, I will also give you guys a practical example of what Amos did. Amos is uh, one of my students who doesn't listen. So signal number five from that uh, 75,000. So we are going to say 75,000 to, let us see, uh, 277,000. And then from 177,000, remember now the micro account and the standard account, they share similar traits. Literally the traits were, were the same. And then the what happened on the next signal? Uh, the 177 was taken to 991, just uh, 9,000 away from 1 million. Uh, 991,000. And then from there, signal number seven, uh, 991,000 was taken to, it sounds like a demo, right? All the numbers. Wait until I, I tell you guys about the withdrawal. Uh, from there, uh, let me see. No, it has to be this. So I'm, I'm speaking to you guys while referring to the actual videos. Uh, yes, 911 was taken to three let me just type the number so basically no let me just do this actually 3.3 million so 911 was taken to 3.3 million now only last signal was remaining so what we did was to withdraw Two million, right? Two million was withdrawn, and a proof of bank balance was shown to the six wave members. Uh, however, I'll also send it in the FBK online services groups as well for inspirational purposes, right? So after that, the remaining balance. Uh, on that account, on this account basically was 1.3 million. So meaning that it, 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 it's now there's, there's hope, you know, there's hope now. So only last trade was remaining, right? So the 1.3 million, uh, 1.3 million on the last trade was, basically taken to uh to five point i'm i'm referring to the video on my other device to five point eight yes correct it was taken to five point eight five point eight m then after that Another withdrawal of 4M was processed. And then that means that now, let me just move this a bit up. That means now that total withdrawals is basically 6M. Now, from a deposit of 5,000, trading six times winning from signal number three, 5,000 was the actual deposit to 6M. On micro account, 70 rent, doing the same trades, uh, the account is on 606. So in terms of the proof of withdrawals, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll send in the FB online services group, number one. Number two, I will also post on the account that I've mentioned, the Forex Broker Killer. I'll actually point I mean, post on the timeline for inspirational purposes, right? So, so that you can see, we are destroying the stereotype that you actually need a lot of money to trade and blah, blah, blah. And also we are destroying the 
we are destroying the stereotype that we don't lose. We we do lose. That's why we are also proud of our losses. But now, would you ever complain that you lost on signal one and two? You lost only five thousand seventy rand times two, uh, which is about ten thousand one hundred and forty. Would you ever complain? to lose 10,114 in order to make 6M, you see? So it's all about it's all about consistency. Now, here's what beats most of you guys. Uh, here's what beats most of you guys. So let me just, I'm just trying to move everything so that I'm able to have enough space. I don't wanna cancel uh, these things. I'll just move them and then, yeah. So here's, what beats you guys, most of you guys, in any trading situation, not having a plan, not having a budget. So Amos, Amos and friends. Amos signed up for NASDAQ signals, right? Him and uh, uh, his friends. So Amos has a budget. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give an example of what Amos could have done and that could have made him wealthy, basically. And when I say wealthy, I don't mean a lot of money, but he could have been a winner, unlike being a loser, right? Budget. Amos had a budget of 1,500. Entirely, that was all the money, the money that he had. Initially, all the money that he had, everything that was under his name, literally it's 1500 right so we have how many signals we have eight signals signal one two three four five six seven eight so i'm going to tell you what amos did and i'll also give an example of what amos could have done so that you can relate and improve whether i'm here or not you'll you'll forever remember the knowledge that i'm sharing with you guys because most people think we don't lose. I've actually lost, uh, the other day I've lost 2.1 million and I'm, I'm proud of my losses, you know? Uh, how many of you guys would lose 2.1 million and still be okay, you know? It's just that my, my, my trades are private, but I did share one screenshot of what I've done on my side with this uh, NASDAQ signals as well right and also i've also shown you guys with one minute strategy i've also shown you guys the about 350 the 350 that i've made for for the gti and also using the the currencies as well under one minute strategy i've also showed you guys the trades when i did when i was attempting to make money to buy an m4 uh, I failed, but I was still on profit, as you've those who have seen the video in the WhatsApp groups. So uh, I'm just sharing with you guys that I, the skill is there and no one can ever uh, take this away from you guys. First trade, Lebanon Amos. Look at Amos. First trade, Amos deposited 1,000 rand. Right? That was the first trade of Amos. Uh, it was a loss. How much is Amos left with? 500. Second trade, Amos with the Bozipile, his last 500. And it ended up being a loss. Now, third trade, Amos did not trade. Amos did not trade. Amos did not trade. Amos did not trade. It's Amos and his friends. They did not trade. Why didn't they trade? Because there was no money to fund. Mara, if Amos was as smart as admin, or if Amos was from my team, here's what Amos could have done. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice. I'm just practically sharing what I would have done if I was Amos in this regard, right? Understand that uh, what I'm doing is still risky and I also lose as well. Right, I'm not perfect. We are all trying to learn, man. Now, if I was Amos with that budget of 1,500, I was going to look at the number of trades that I have. And then, oh, also, hey, Amos. 
I forgot most uh, important detail. Amos was using a bonus account um, to trade, right? So meaning that his equity has always doubled. So it was a bonus 100, it was not 200, right? Most important detail. So if I was Amos, this is what I was going to do. Firstly, I was going to say 1,500, most important information, guys. 1,500 divided by eight. Why? Because those are the number of trades that we are going to take. Now, second step. I know that 1,005 divided by eight is 187 rents. So now I know that per trade, no matter what, here's the trick guys, no matter what, you do not go against your trading plan because once you go against your trading plan, that's when you lose it. Because losses are always gonna be there. Even on the next wave, future waves, we are still going to lose, but it's all about making more money than what you're losing. I can lose five times, guys, and win once and still recover all my losses and still make 20 times more profit than ever because I trade smart, right? Don't be like Amos, guys. Now, first step, I was supposed to, Amos was supposed to use a micro account, not a bonus account, right? Second step, Amos was supposed to deposit 187 rent. So meaning that each trade, each deposit was supposed to be 178 rent. I mean 187 rent. As I'm I'm making an example here. 187 rent, 187 rent. Uh, I'll still share with you guys how you can apply this on one minute strategy as well. I'll, I'll because Nasdaq it's a slightly different. So now I know very well that if now all my deposits are equal, I'm a winner. Automatically, once your deposits per trade are equal, you are a winner. Because if your deposits are not equal, you are not consistent. You are the biggest loser. Now, first trade. Uh, let me just cancel this. Now I'm giving an example based on what happened on this wave that could have happened to Amos, right? right? So now adding more details into Amos's account type, the leverage is one is to 1,000. That is the leverage that was going to be used. And then risk appetite, uh, I'm going to keep it at 50% compared to what the admin has done. Right. So I'm just going to 50% simply means that I'm keeping it as realistic as possible because what admin is doing seems humanly impossible. And he has an advantage because he has me on his table. If you have me, you have you have a forex god, you you'll never go wrong if you have me on your table. Remember, you guys are having me online. I'm not on your table. I don't even know you guys and where you stay, what you do. I don't know anything about you guys. I'm referring to people who are in my circle. They have access to me. They have direct access to me. I'm referring to such situations. Now, signal number one, Amos lost 187. How much is Amos left with? So we are going to say 1.5 minus 187. Now, Amos is left with 1,313. That is how much Amos is left with, right? It's demotivating because now it's a loss. So he has lost, literally has lost on the first signal. Now, second signal, Amos deposit 170, uh, 187 rents as well. What happens? He loses again. How much is he left with? 1,126. Now the third trade, he deposits 187 rents again. How much is he left with before the outcome, before uh, we give the outcome of the trade? So it's the amount that he's left with minus 187. So this guy is literally left with a balance of 939. 
probably wherever he is, he's uh, demotivated, right? But now we are just going to keep this amount. We're just going to keep this amount at the end as a, let me just say a crude balance. Now I'm applying accounting. Guys, up I'm educated. I'm educated. Just because I didn't graduate doesn't mean I'm not I'm not educated. So, anyways, signal number three, 187, deposit again. When he deposit the, the third for the third signal, he's left with 930. I mean 939 rents. So you can see that giving up is not so far, right? But now, because Amos in this example is smart, not the stupid Amos micro account. So first trade was all about doubling, right? Unfortunately, I cannot assist with lot sizes. So how you determine a lot size, guys? You open 0 0.01 in multiples, and you 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 will get to see how much the market allows you. Because unfortunately, I cannot help with lot sizes. It's up to you. It's up to your risk appetite. So you use multiples of 0 0.01 up until you're satisfied. Where now, because it's your account. Third signal, 187 deposited. Now, 187 is taken to 374. Keep in mind, this is applied on 50% reality. So 374 is taken to how much? Let us refer to what happened on signal number four on this one. 11,000 was taken to 75,000. That means it's almost times seven, the return. So here we are not going to go with times seven. We're going to go with times three. I'm keeping it as realistic as possible. So it's going to be 374 times three. So the outcome of Amos's account will be 1,122. Let's do a flashback. 187, 374, that was the first signal. Second signal, I'm referring to winning signals. Second signal, it was 374 to 1,122. Third signal, winning signal. Let's refer to what happened here. So third signal, was was 177 to 991. So this was like uh, almost six times the return, five, six times estimation. So let's just keep this reward at uh, three times the return. We're just trying to be realistic, keep in mind. So it's going to be 1,110, 22, uh, 1,122, the outcome would be 3,310. I just want to show you guys that if you're not greedy, you can literally make a living out of this, literally. So the outcome is 1,122 to about 3,366. This is based on 50% cut compared to what the admin has done, almost. So meaning that this is the most realistic outcome that um, if I were Amos, I could have achieved this. Literally, I could have achieved this. Remember, this balance still remains. This balance still remains uh, because it's a future deposit. It's a crude deposit. It's, it's there, it's standby. Now, signal number six, let's see what happened. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. I've made a mistake, guys. I've made a mistake. Signal number five, it was 75,000 to 177, meaning that this was uh, doubling the account. So this simply means that I need to just double this amount as it is. Because the, the, the minimum realistic outcome that could happen is doubling an account that one could happen on 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 either in either way 
244. So that means it's going to be two. So for yeah, so signal number six, that's the one that was massive. That's the one that we're gonna keep it at times three. So that means that we're gonna take this uh, amount and then times it times three. It, we are being as realistic as possible. 6,332. Let us pause right there. Let us pause right there and do a recap. Amos has a budget of 1.5 micro account, one is to one leverage, right? 50% uh, risk appetite or return compared to what? To what the admin has done, which is the most realistic. First trade, loss. Second trade, loss. Th third trade, win to 374. Fourth trade um, to 1.1. Fifth trade to 2.2. Six trade to 6.7. Now, how many people work 30 days a month or 20 days a month for 6.7? How many? Amos has managed to achieve this in a space of about four days or even less. It's about four days, right? So you can see Amos is a winner already. He's done. He has recovered the money that he has spent for the signals. He has made more money, even though he has lost, but because he's smart, he's definitely making more money, right? The importance of being smart. Now, let us proceed. Signal number seven, 6,700. Even if, even if Amos loses at this stage, it's up to him whether he wants to withdraw or not. Even if he loses, he has won against the system. He has, the signals were perfect. He has won. The signal, remember now, these signals are good, but they also need you to be smart. Same goes to the one-minute strategy. It's good, but it, it also needs to be smart. So how my services work is, if one-minute strategy finds you all a dumb, it's going to make you more dumb. If NASDAQ signals finds you all a dumb, it's going to make you more dumb. So it will enhance what you already are. Unfortunately, if you are born dumb, there's nothing I can do. My friend, I apologize. There's nothing I can do. I cannot change who you are. Now I'm going to apply. Uh, I'm not actually, no, I'm not going to apply a withdrawal on this example. Now signal number seven, let's see what happened. 991 was taken to 3.3. Uh, so let's just keep this at 200%, not the 300% that was achieved here. So this means it's going to be how much? Uh, 6,732 times three, because if it's times two, it means it's 100%. So times three, meaning that on this trade, Amos could have been sitting on 20,000. Guys, how many people who, who have degrees who don't earn 20,000? This is the second last signal. Now, Amos has an option to process a withdrawal of, of up to 15,000. Now, if I was Amos, if I was Amos, I'm just going to give you guys possible scenario. If I was Amos, I would withdraw 10,000 meaning that I would be left with how much? With another 10,000 to trade the last signal. But let's just continue in this example as raw as it is so that you guys are able to make your own decisions without having to be influenced by this example. Now, the last trade, what happened? 1.3 million on this example was taken to 5.8. So we're just going to keep this example at times three because we're keeping it as realistic as possible. So that means it's going to be 20,196 times three. It's going to be 60,588, right? So it's going to be the last, that's the last signal. Almost won six times in a row from 187 rents to 60,000 the most realistic example you can ever get. Not what the admin has done because the admin is on another level. Keep in mind that those who are saying this are demo accounts on what the admin has done, 
I still, I'm still sending you to go check out. By the time you see this video, I'm sure if I would, I would have not uploaded the, the, the withdrawal, uh, it means it's still coming, but it's there. The proof is there. If you're in my groups, the proof I'll forward it in the groups. Probably if you're watching this video a bit late, the examples have already been sent. I mean, the screenshot. Uh, so from 187 to 60,000, right? Most realistic. So now it's going to be 60,588 plus the accrued balance that was left. Remember, Amos was smart. He was trading with a plan. So plus the 939. Not the stupid Amos that's in my groups. That one is very, very stupid. He's very, very stupid. Very. I told him as well. He's very, very stupid. And he has, a, he has accepted that he's stupid. So the total is 61,527. Now let's do a recap, guys. You can see that you're sleeping on, us, on yourselves. Literally, even with the one-minute strategy. Now let me, I will switch to one minute strategy after this. This is exactly what you can do. From 187 rents to 61,000, most realistic example. If it was admin, you could have taken the 170, 87,000 to Boma, 800,000 or 1 million. But we just kept it, kept it as realistic as possible to cover you guys. Right. So now let's move to the one minute strategy just a bit. One minute strategy. We have events, right? In a month, we have 16 to 22 events, just estimation. Actually, it's 16 to 26 uh, tradable events. that consists of three bulls and then some two bulls. An example of three bulls is NFP. And then an example of two bulls is JPY, JPY interest rate, interest rate. That's just an example of a two bull event. Right, so what I do, remember that I, now that I'm, I'm sharing my experiences. So what I do basically is this. Uh, I find at least six events to stick with in a month. So meaning that if it's 26 events, I'm, 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 I'm actually minusing 20 events. 20 events, it means that I'm reducing the risk. Now I'm sticking to what I know. Now the first question is, how do you know whether an event is good? Trade it. Guys, I can't be teaching guys everything. Uh, let me refer to investing.com. Where's the browser? Keep in mind, guys, uh, the videos of the micro account it's actual trades. There's the first trade and blah, blah, blah. And then I'll be uploading the one for 5,000 as well. You'll see, I'll be uploading the, the withdrawals right here on this account as well, right? I'll be posting everything. So now I just want to go to the uh, calendar quickly. Uh, it's the economic calendar. Uh, I want I want to filter three bulls. How do I filter three bulls? Yo, I don't know this economic calendar on a computer. Can uh, how do I do it? Filters. Oh yes. Eh, is it? Uh this thing is fuzzy. Okay, yeah, sharp. Uh, three bulls. And then I'm going to apply. Yes. Now I've applied on uh, three bulls. So now, how do you know that building permit is good? 
by trading it at 7.45 as it stays. How do you know that core durable goods is good or not? By trading it at half past eight, keep in mind the time here is GMT. Let me just fix it to South African time. John is back. So yeah, how do you know that building permits is good? Quarter to one, trade it. How do you know that core durable goods orders is good or not? Trade it, half past two. How do you know that CB consumer confidence is good or not? Or even the new home sales, trade them, four o'clock. You trade them, you make notes, guys. I can't be teaching you guys everything. You make notes. You, you, you write the name of the event, the time, the pair that you used, the number of points that it moved. You write the report outcome. What was the previous? What, the, what was the forecast? What was the actual? I've also done uh, mentoring, explaining all these things about uh, report is there right here on my uh, YouTube channel. So you, you, you find everything, right? Literally, you find everything. So I can't be teaching you guys the same thing over and over. Now, next month, around this date, the last week of July, the same events are coming back again. So if an event is good, you note it down, you're going to trade it. That's how you know whether an event is good or not. We can't be teaching you guys everything. That is pretty much uh, common sense. Come on, guys. You guys are not kids. We, we are adults. So you trade it, right? You trade uh, all events. Select your six events. Yours could go up to four. I mean, up, go up to 10. Some could go up to 12. It's up to you guys. Six is just my preferred uh, example that I want to trade six times a month. So if I want to trade six times a month and I have 100,000, so I'm going to say 100,000 divided by six, then each and every event I'm going to use about uh, 16,000 to trade. That's how it works. That's how I do it, right? Then I know that each and every event I put 16,000. If I lose, I'll go for the second one, put 16,000. But I know it's impossible for me to lose all of them. Then the ratio, the difference between the winning ratio of one minute strategy and NASDAQ is that the winning ratio for me is one is to five, meaning that even if I lose two times and I lose, let's say, uh, 32,000. I will only need one trade to make everything back. One trade simply means that it's 16,000 uh, times five. So literally with just one trade, one trade I've made 80,000. Then I'm, I'm, I'm gone, literally. So you can see that if I win twice, just two times, but now how I trade the one minute strategy is I wouldn't, if I win for the first time like this, 16,000 to 80,000, what I would normally do on the second trade is I would go in with the 80,000. That's what I would do because I'm greedy like that. Yes. And I'm proud. Then I would take that 80,000 to 400,000. So two times I'm done. 16,000 from 16,000 guys. Literally. So that's that's how it works. That's how I do it. Literally, I'm done for the month. 16,000 to 80,000, 80,000 to 400,000. I only did it to win twice, then I'm gone. Now, if I want to win, if maybe I were to win uh, uh, three times in a row, that means that our, I'm, I'm literally going to, to take the 400,000 to 2 million. You see only trading three times from what? From a deposit of 16,000. So that's how it works, guys. That's how it works. So you must understand your, 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 your risks. You must understand your risks. You must know what you're doing. You must trade with understanding that, okay, I'm risking. So I, I think I've covered the most important things. So now keep in mind, guys, that if you are new in FBK, there are guidelines that you can follow uh, to actually 
uh, get started properly. Uh, let me do this. I want to share the screen. Yeah. So you go to fbkmarkets.com. You click on... So on a mobile, you click on menu, but on a PC, you click on support so that it can expand. If it was a mobile, you click on menu, you'll see education, right? Under education, you're going to find videos and then you're going to find an ebook. You can download the ebook, uh, download the ebook and then read it. It's the theory version. And then there are videos there that you're going to find. Now, if you've already watched the videos, we are adding more videos at the bottom under strategies. So there are free strategies that are commonly available, technical related. Uh, they are commonly and freely available for everyone. So we are going to be adding 32 plus, 32 to 64 trading strategies that you can use and choose from free of charge. Why? Because now FBK is has expanded. It's beyond now. So I've invested 100,000 so far on this project and I'm willing to invest up to half a million uh, because these things are not for free. All these things that you're seeing, the strategies and everything, I'm buying them with my own money, right? Literally, I'm buying them with my own money and not to mention the production side of it, right? So the breakout strategy, support and resistance strategy, the moving average pullback strategy, the boiler bend strategy. I've seen a few students make money with this one, the moving average pullback strategy. Uh, I've, 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 I've seen a, a few positive results from students who says they've been watching the strategy and then they've analyzed and then they've applied it. So now I don't use these things. I don't need to use these things because I can make 2 million trading three times from 16,000. You know, I, I can I can make uh, 6 million from 5,000 only trading six times. So I don't need these things. So these things are for you guys to develop more knowledge, more love and whatnot when it comes to the market. So I hope uh, that was uh, properly explained. So otherwise, uh, we have reached the end of our session. And I still apologize, Sixth Wave members, I deeply apologize that you guys couldn't be part of the live mentoring whereby I can take in your questions as well uh, because of personal commitment. So you, as you can see, it's 3 a.m. right now as I'm recording the video. So, and this is my only last chance because for me, I will be traveling. So I won't have any time to do men the mentoring and I've promised you guys. So yeah, forgive me for not including you, but this should be very much fruitful and I hope I have explained everything properly. And also FBK Online Services members, uh, I hope you have learned or you are learning a thing or two as well. Keep in mind in your groups, if there are no trades like uh, uh, certain particular weeks, that's when you receive either a free mentoring session uh, or a NASDAQ signal. So for now, because of the type of questions and the type of challenges that uh, we are facing with you guys, we have decided that uh, instead, we are going to be offering you guys a couple of mentoring sessions. So this is our third mentoring session this year. It's the first time we have so many mentoring sessions, and I really hope that they are, that they are equipping you with knowledge and whatnot, enough knowledge and whatnot, and otherwise, yeah. So otherwise, thank you so much for your time, and I will see you guys on the next mentoring uh, video. Keep in mind that if you are a beginner, uh, this journey is not going to be easy. We make it look easy, but definitely it's not going to be easy. Just hang in there and push as much as you can. We are sending results in the WhatsApp groups, FBK Online Services groups. Those results, these people are using the same one man strategy that you have access to. And in the NASDAQ signals group uh, groups as well, what the, the admin is sending is exactly what you have received. While the withdrawals from other students and the results from other students in the NASDAQ groups is exactly the same thing. So some of you guys 
are bewitched. I'm just going to put it there and end it there. Otherwise, FBK Reality Show is about to uh, start very soon. Uh, keep on the lookout on my social media platforms. Uh, lastly, guys, my social media platforms, uh, to avoid FBK students or even people uh, getting scammed by fake accounts, uh, on Instagram, these are my contact details, real contact details. On Instagram, it's at DJ Coach SA Blue Tick. It has Blue Tick. It's verified. If the account is not verified, it's not mine. I'm referring to my personal ones. On Facebook, it's the same as well at DJ Coach SA, but the actual name is DJ Coach Tsekeleke there right and then it has 1 million followers so far and it's verified so the instagram one has about 398k as i'm recording the video so obviously it's going to increase with time right twitter it's also verified at dj coach rsa that is the difference right so it has about uh, 95,000 followers uh, last time I checked. TikTok, it is not verified as yet, but it has a DJ coach, RSA. It has about 246,000 followers as it stands. Anything less than this number, it is not my account. Unless I otherwise I, I I announce otherwise, for whatever reason it may be, right? And then from there, WhatsApp number. Uh, I'm just gonna include it with the country code. Seven three one zero eight nine eight eight six. Right. Uh, that is the WhatsApp number. And then. Uh, from there, guys, I don't have Telegram. I don't do investments. I don't do account management. Number four, I will never. DM or WhatsApp you first. You have to run after me. It must show between you and I who's Petrus Mutipas cousin. I can't be running after you. What do you have that I don't have? So those who are having pride or ego that I have DM'd them, just know it was not me. I, you are not that special, my friend. I will never DM you. Sometimes you just need to put it as harsh as possible so that people don't uh, step on your back. I will, I repeat, I will never DM you. You are not that special. You are not even special. So please stop telling people that I'm DMing you, asking you to join what, why, whatever. I will never DM you. You have to run after me and I'll respond when I want. It's not a must for me to respond. That is the difference between when... I need you and when you need me. I don't need you, you need me. So please, I've, I wanted to put clarity on that one, right? And then also, FBK students, uh, respect us when, you speak, when you're asking for help, please. You cannot speak to me like you're speaking to your father or whoever, however you're used to speaking at your house. I'm not your father, chief. Uh, when you need my help, I don't care how angry you are. You are not that important. Uh, uh, you must greet me properly and ask for assistance with respect. Don't come as if you and I are on the same text bracket, my friend. I'm doing you a favor by even uh, responding you in the first place. I'm doing you a very huge... You don't qualify to talk to me. Please speak to us with respect, and then we will assist you. Don't come with an attitude. Yeah, Olympia. 
Otherwise, thank you so much. I just had to put that one on the ground because la telela le na my SPK. Already I'm dis disrespectful now. I know. But I have money, miss. So what are you going to do? Nothing. Where now do you have money? You don't have anything. So why are you disrespect? Why are you being disrespectful? Because you must refer respect your elders in the financial market. That is me. You need me. I don't need you. Keep in mind. And no matter what, I appreciate the support that you've given FBK from the start. Otherwise, those who don't support us, you may go to hell as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.